we're asked to find the inverse Laplace transform of 8 divided by the product of s cubed and s plus 2. In order to use the table below to determine the inverse Laplace transform, we first need to perform partial fraction decomposition on the given function. When doing this, remember s cubed is a repeated linear factor. To set this up, we have 8 divided by the product of s cubed and s plus 2 equals the constant a divided by one factor of s plus the constant b divided by two factors of s plus c divided by three factors of s and then finally plus the constant d divided by the last linear factor of s plus two. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD which is s cubed times the quantity s plus two. This gives us the equation eight equals a times s squared times s plus two. Notice when multiplying a over s by s cubed times s plus two, one factor of s simplifies out. And then we have plus b s times the quantity s plus two. When multiplying b over s squared times s cubed times s plus two, notice two factors of s simplify out. And then we have plus c times the quantity s plus two. Finally, plus d times s cubed. Now we expand the right side of the equation and equate the coefficients. This gives us eight equals a s cubed plus two a s squared and then plus b s squared plus two b s plus c s plus two c plus d s cubed. And now let's gather the s cubed terms, s squared terms, s terms, and constants on the right. This gives us eight equals a s cubed plus d s cubed plus two a s squared plus b s squared. And then we have plus two b s plus c s plus two c. And now let's factor s cubed from the s cubed terms, s squared from the s squared terms, and s from the s terms. This gives us eight equals the quantity a plus d times s cubed plus the quantity two a plus b times s squared plus the quantity two b plus c times s then plus two c. And now we equate the coefficients, but notice on the left side of the equation, there are no s cubed terms, s squared terms or s terms, which indicates that a plus d must equal zero, two a plus b must equal zero, two b plus c must equal zero, and finally eight must equal two c, indicating c is equal to four. And now working our way back up, if c is equal to four, two b is equal to negative four, and therefore b is equal to negative two. And if b is equal to negative two, two a must equal positive two, and therefore a is equal to one. And if a is equal to one and a plus d is equal to zero, d is equal to negative one. And now performing substitution back into the top equation, we now know the given function eight divided by the product of s cubed and s plus two is equal to one divided by s because a is equal to one. And since b is equal to negative two, we have minus two divided by s squared. And because c is equal to four, we have plus four divided by s cubed. And because d is equal to negative one, we have minus one divided by the quantity s plus two. Now that we have the function in this form, we can determine the inverse Laplace transform. Let's do this on the next slide. The inverse Laplace transform of the given function eight divided by the product of s cubed and s plus two is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s minus two divided by s squared plus four divided by s cubed minus one divided by the quantity s plus two. Using the property of linearity, this is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s minus two times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s squared 
plus the inverse Laplace transform of four divided by s cubed, but looking at the table below, the inverse Laplace transform of two divided by s cubed is equal to t squared. So I'm gonna write this as minus two times the inverse Laplace transform of two divided by s cubed. And then finally, minus the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity s plus two. So again, now using our table below, the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s, where c is equal to one is equal to one, and then minus two times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s squared, which is equal to t, and then plus two times the inverse Laplace transform of two divided by s cubed, which is t squared, and then finally minus the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity s plus two. Looking at the last formula in the first column, the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity s plus a is equal to e to the power of negative a t, and therefore the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity s plus two is e to the power of negative two t. Which indicates the inverse Laplace transform of the given function eight divided by the product of s cubed and s plus two is equal to one minus two t plus two t squared minus e to the negative two t. I hope you found this helpful.